Kenzie, play play the uh, Diesel's in Dark Corners video. It's in the Google Drive. Oh, well, that's not cool. Sorry. I guess we're here. Hey, everybody. It's Doug with Beer Money. We're with Scotty Too Hotty tonight, live from North Carolina. We got some Hello, everybody. We've got Happy some exciting Tuesday. news. We got some exciting news. Premier Lubricant says now a Maxima racing oil distributor as well. Pretty big news. We're pretty excited to add another high performance, high quality American made product to us. And uh, uh, Troy Green couldn't make it tonight. He had a conflict come up late, so we apologize. So we're going to get him on another segment. Um, he's the Midwest territory manager for Maxima. But um, we're pretty stoked to add it to our product line uh, for an offering. So a um, little bit about Maxima. They've been in business since 1979. So they're Southern California. Um, their business is strictly racing and performance, uh, top tier stuff down to grassroots. They formulate their stuff based on champion of every level. So we're pretty excited to bring their, you know, product line on and have it um, to enhance our already, you know, extensive wardrobe over, you know, Premier Lubricant. So, but um, for, for tonight, we just want to kind of introduce some of the products, you know, get uh, a lot of people have heard of, Maxima, maybe some haven't, but um, like I say, their main focus is, you know, racing and performance on every level. So um, they're big, really big with the motocross, motorcycle world, um, shock oil, and then the performance auto, which is the group that will kind of focus on that as the, you know, aerosols and then the, you know, four stroke or four cycle, two stroke engine oils, um, along with some, uh, cleaners and high high gloss polish we'll take a look at some of them products tonight so but uh without do probably their number one seller uh in america maybe the world is um the sc1 high gloss it's um the new bike look in a can that that product uh, by far um you know makes UTVs, side by sides, anything plastic. People use it as a mud off. Um, you can use it on your tractors and anything like tires. It's it's like an all in one general purpose product. So we're pretty excited to have it because um, that product is so good, so well known that they have air fresheners and you know vehicle air fresheners. They have a, I believe a shaving kit, which we'll get into some more when we get familiar a lot uh, more in depth with Maxima. But um, it's a good product. It's a really good product. The next one is probably right up there along the kind of compliments. The SC1 is the Maxima Speed Wax. And that's an aerosol. And that's. So, let's take a time out a second. Will the SC1, will that redo headlights? Does that clean up the plastic Casey headlights? Uh, that's a good question, Doug. I, I'll have to find out on that. I, I, I don't know. I've used it myself for years on like my four wheelers and you know, snowmobiles, lawnmowers, all that stuff around the shop, but I've never used it on a uh, headlight, you know, but <coughs> I, I wouldn't see why not. Um, but I will do an experiment and then we'll talk about that at another show for sure. Okay. On with your show. Yep. So the speed wax is just another aerosol. It's a great product. Now this is more of a quick coefficient wax. You want to dial things up quick. You know, uh, motorsports, garage, you know, your personal vehicles, anything around the shop. So that's a, it's a really good product as well. Does it have the same pleasant odor as SC1? Uh, it's different. So the Speedwax has like a tropical uh, scent. It's kind of a pleasant scent. So you can use it indoors too. You know, a lot of people like the ladies like the, the scents of both the SC1 and the Speedwax. So... Keep it in the nightstand drawer for a little. Uh, yeah, you never out. know. We'll take orders for whatever you want to use it for. So um, the next one that's interesting that really catches our eye, Brandon and I over Premier, is the uh, MPPL, which is basically multi-purpose uh, penetrant lube. 
So this, this is a good product because there's a lot of um, interest in growth in the fogger, you know, engine fogging. And this is a multi-purpose product, not only for penetrant, loosening bolts, nuts, you know, using on shock towers, but this is also a engine fogger too. Um, so this is a great all around, you know, like it says, multi-purpose aerosol. So we're, we're pretty so, stoked. So explain that. what engine fogging is to the dumb people of the world like myself. I guess I've heard of it. I don't know exactly how it works. So, so engine fogging is, so, you know, you run, your engine gets hot, especially here in the North Carolina where it's real humid. And a lot of times, you know, that engine, uh, no matter what it's on, doesn't cool down. You throw it in the box in the trailer. And, you know, especially if you're running, you know, some of the uh, alcohol, methanol, of course, they, they're prone to water, drying out your cylinders and rain. So um, what happens is, is if you don't put some kind of fogger in there or, you know, some aftermarket lube, you, you actually start to form rust pretty quick. So um, if you're a weekend warrior and you're putting that in the box, you know, say drag racing, for instance, and then you might go another week or two or, you know, maybe you're firing the car up and you get home. Um, engine fogging is is pretty critical, really. Um, basically, you just spray uh, in with the air cleaner. It just puts a nice coating, basically a thin layer of lubricant protects that exactly what it is for the top cylinder and that. So, but um, it's become really popular in the last couple of years. So uh, you're starting to see it's, I don't want to say it's not been around forever, but you're seeing it more and more with a product selection. And this is like, you know, application driven, you should be doing this. And it is a good idea because you don't want no rust, you know, the form in your cylinder walls or your piston range or around that area at all. So that's, that's never a good thing. So, right. But uh, it's good, good product. So for anybody that's just tuning in, uh, Tech Talk Tuesday with Scotty Tuhati. We are going over the new Maxima Racing uh, oil line of aerosols and performance products that has been brought on by uh, Premier Lubricants. So all that product is available on the Beer Money website or the Premier Lubricants website and use bmpt for 15 percent off and uh if you've got any questions please type in and we'll try to address them yeah and uh that's good stuff doug and just want to highlight we just for tonight we're just picking like the hot what we would consider the hot movers what you know the truck and tractor pulling motorsports world would use as far as you know products in the, the shop or you know, in their trailer hauler and in their, you know, truck or tractor or racing vehicle. So, but, um, so th those are like the most popular uh, aerosols. And then we're going to get into a couple down after we talk about some oils, engine oil and gear oil. But uh, th those are pretty much uh, standard, you know, a, a Me Too product that I think I would have, especially SC1. Once you use that stuff, it, it's incredible. It's one of the best products out there. So it does bring like, you know, faded plastic and, you know, brings your, especially uh, your side by side or something that sits outside. It really brings that back to life, you know. So, but um, now the next, the next one, we're going to get into some engine oil. So there's some really unique things on Maxima. Um, they offer, and again, they're a true racing lubricant company. So they're going to have some stuff that a lot of the competitors uh, might not offer in viscosity range, or maybe they're trying to obsolete some skews. So um, this one is the straight, basically it's a straight weight oil. So when we say that it's a 50 uh, viscosity or WT, a 60 and a 70. So these are mono grades that are available. So it's kind of nice um, that they offer a 50, 60 and 70. So um, 60 has been real popular in the, in the tractor and truck pulling world uh, as well as 50, but um, one of the things is, and I'll just highlight if they can see that, is um, this is a mineral base, uh, base stock in this. So um, a lot of guys talk about, you know, mineral oil, and then there's pros and cons to everything with alcohol and methanol and, you know, diesel, how they play nice with the oil. But one of the things is um, that people will notice is it says 2X or two times the zinc anti-wear. So 
Troy is going to explain this more in depth. I just want to um, give you a little summary of what that means, because you're going to see this probably in a lot of their racing oil. So they use a very unique proprietary blend of additives. Um, and keep in mind, Maxima, they, they blend, they're, they're their own blender. So, you know, they're, they're buying base oils, they're buying additives, and they're a um, self-reliant blender and packager. So they make pretty much all their products uh, on site, in, in, you know, in Southern California. So, but their, their zinc pack is kind of unique. They use two zinc. So, you know, a lot of people talk and, and hear and read or, you know, on podcasts that zinc or ZDDP activates a temperature, which is true. So what Maxima uses in their chemistry is they use two times the zinc, but they have a zinc that's in their formulation that activates when it's cold, when the engines are cold or just getting warmed up. So they, they feel as though um, that is an added bonus for protection um, you know, when you first crank up that engine, you know, all the way up till it stop rating, you know, temperature, amb- you know, ambient temperature. So that, that's kind of a cool little thing. But again, you know, they, they offer the straight weights or straight viscosities mono grade in 50, 60 and 70. Um, so that's kind of cool. And um, the nice thing, too, is uh, they come in one gallon containers or five gallon. A lot of people ask us over the year, hey, does that? You know, so like our products, they come in anything smaller than a five. If you're getting like me getting older, it's a little harder to manhandle a five or, you know, without spilling it or, you know, you're up trying to, you know, dump it in an engine. So gallons are a good, good offering um, with a lot of the maximum products that we're going to talk about. So, but again, are that drums, is a, available. I'm sorry. Are drums available? Uh, not that I'm aware of, but I'm, I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out and I apologize because we're, we're new to the packaging and stuff. I just know what we've looked at and what we're going to bring in, but I would imagine, uh, you know, I don't want to say yes or no, but I would imagine you could get it at some point, you know? Right. So, but so that would be the mineral based straight weight, um, racing oil, 50, 60, 70. So the next one is their RS, um, it's their full synthetic racing oil. So which is kind of unique is, um, I know that's kind of small to see, or at least it is for me, but I got the sheet same in front of me. So they offer this in a multitude variety of viscosities at the bottom there. So, um, this is a hundred percent full synthetic triple ester racing oil esters or polymers that are very good. They handle heat and uh, do a lot of good stuff in racing oil, but, this is available in a 0 W10, a 0 W20, a 520, 530, 1030, 1040, and 1550. So it seems like a lot of viscosities, but honestly, they do it that way because it covers a very large gamut of motorsports, anywhere from, you know, drag racing to go-karts to, you know, truck and tractor pulling, circle tracks, sprint cars. Um, you know, GM crate motor 602, 604s, all that. So those viscosities basically it, it's a we got something for everybody viscosity. So that is the RS series. Um, and it's 1550 is what's on that, but that's that's basically the 15 W50 that bottle represents that, but it comes in you know a variety of viscosity. So and that comes in quarts, gallons, and pails. Uh, in each one of those viscosities. The next one is the multi-grade synthetic blend. And it's basically exactly what it is, is a synthetic blend. And it comes in 1030, 1040, and 2050. And that as well comes in quarts, five-gallon pails. Excuse excuse me, in gallons. So, But uh, you'll see that two times the zinc system in there quite a bit. Um, with pretty much all of their racing oil. So any questions on that, Dougie, or any type in? Any questions yet. All right. So we'll go to the next uh, engine oil. It's the, they have a, they offer heavy duty uh, diesel engine oil. I'm sorry, I probably got you out of whack there, but it's the heavy duty diesel engine oil. Yep, there we go. So um, this comes in gallons and fives. So this, this is a, um, you know, exceeds CJ4 spec, you know, so this, this would be, um, a good, you know, if you're, you're in, 
like diesel drag or maybe some of the lower classes tractors where you don't have such that big bearing clearance or need, you know, higher viscosity to maintain that, you know, oil pressure and all that stuff. This would be a good fit for that. But this is a um, basically a, a heavy duty 1540 diesel engine only offer. Uh, next is the Pro Gear. They make a couple different varieties of gear oil, but go right to the top. Um, the Pro Gear oil is a synthetic gear oil. It's a full synthetic. So um, it's a GL5, which we talked about a couple weeks ago. That's the, you know, the rating for extreme pressure additives. And this comes in a 7590, a 75140, a 75190, and a 250. So it, it's got, it'll cover. So if you're doing some heavy duty stuff, motorsports, and I, and I think, Doug, there was a comment, maybe it was you or someone else after the show or during the show about um, the way that the weight transfer box comes up now and kind of slams, um, at the, it, you know, at the end or when it gets down track. And I haven't heard it yet, but I'm sure I will. But guys are saying that they're, uh, they're rough on their gears, their pinning gears in the rear end. So, um, yeah, it seems to take uh, the old setups, it takes the pinion bearing out. Yeah, so here's a perfect example where this offering they have with those viscosity, especially like, you know, it's going to be the same chemistry, but when you go higher with viscosity, that's kind of that's that's your boundary or or your strength in between the gears. So, um, you know, the 75 W140 I think is going to be real popular next year. There, there's always changes when I say that, like. You know, the last few years in rounding around circle track, you know, it was based on lower viscosity years. Everyone was jumping a bandwagon. We're going to 030, you know, the 1030s of the world. But um, now it's it's kind of bounced back a little bit where it's gone back to 2050. So it's not saying it's right or wrong. There's just different, you know, advantages and disadvantages to both. But I think that 75W140, that little bit of a thicker, so to speak, or um, higher viscosity is going to be really popular in the tractor truck pulling world, especially in the upper classes with the heavier weights, you know, for protection. So what's the 190 and 250 used for? That's some pretty thick stuff. That's some pretty thick stuff. So like you're, you know, you get into the off-road truck. So I, I tell people like when you get in, when you want to jump up from 75 W90, cause you know, 75 W90 is phenomenal. It, it is such a, uh, superseded product like we talked about um, made so well with high-end base oils and high-end additives today that that's really like the go-to in most almost all motorsports but when you go where you have a lot of wheel hop or it's this, the chop or stops and start or you get like exactly like when that weight box hits and those gears just kind of you know slam that's where they you know these higher viscosity so like your off off road truck series and stuff where they're jumping in the air and coming down and, and that rear end's taking a little bit of a beating. That's where you would see like the, you know, your 75, you know, 190 or your 250 weights. And especially, you know, most off road truck series are, you know, like Baja or they're in the desert or so, you know, heat's the number one killer of oil. We talk about that all the time, no matter what. So um, those, those, higher viscosity oils are going to hold up better for, you know, that application. So um, the next one is kind of a cool thing. Um, no pun intended there. The Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid is basically a water wetter. Um, this is the ready to use one. And then they have the concentration. You can get it either way, but we'll probably stock the ready to use. Um, that way you don't get your, you know, chemistry too far out of whack, start mixing too much stuff in. But uh, this is a great product, um, you know, if you're running a radiator, of course, but it will take, you know, temperature out of out of the, you know, water. Some some cases, 25, 40, you know, 20 to 40 degrees anyways, just to be safe. But um, this is a good product, you know, comes in the five gallon pail, but more so the 64 um, ounce container, which, their um, ratios and everything are are basically, I believe they're on the back of the jug, but they're pretty self-explanatory. They're on the technical data sheets too. So, 
but uh, basically, that's not, antifreeze. that's not antifreeze. That's, that's just not a antifreeze. No, it's just it's just a um, uh, well, we would consider it a water wetter. It's just a heat transfer. You know, okay. it's just. But you're spot on. It will not uh, act as like, and I think on the bottom there too. I think you're just highlighting. It's not, you know, it doesn't have a freeze protection. You know, so. But um, yeah. And one of the reasons why is there's no glycol in most of these now today. Um, so that's, that's one of the reasons they're not really considered good for, you know, using it as antifreeze or a coolant in, in uh, cold applications or, you know, environment. So but, um, it's a good little product. And then um, the uh, air filter cleaner aerosol, this is really popular. We get asked about this all the time. It's one of the reasons we kind of look towards Maxima. So this is self-explanatory. This, this can be used on um, fabric, um, you know, and foam air cleaner. So basically this is like just what it says. You just spray it and clean your, you know, air cleaners. And there's a, the next product kind of complements and, and you can get it. So the next product is um, the Fab One. And that is the air cleaner or excuse me, air filter oil. So they kind of complement one another. We're going to bring these in in cases, but Maxima offers a lot of combo uh, packs. So they offer this product as a two pack with the air uh, filter cleaner and the Fab One. So we'll, we'll look at that and see what, you know, um, everyone's interested or what sells better if they want them in the combo pack or, you know, just in individual. So they have a bunch of other ones too. They have four packs of stuff that are like your chain lube, your, you know, multi-purpose uh, penetrating lube and speed wax and SC1. So um, if we have a high interest, we'll bring in those little combo packs, you know, or maybe Christmas time or something it might be a, a good idea for a special or, you know, Christmas special. <coughs> but, um, and then the last one, it's kind of, and again, these are just a small group of the hot movers that we're going to concentrate on. Um, this is the bio wash. This is actually what, what it is. It's a biodegradable wash. Um, great for like, you know, the mud or clay or, you know, shining, you know, before you go out to do your hook, you know, you maybe want to spray this on, wipe it down and then hit it with like the speed wax to follow up or even like an SC1. There's no wrong answer there, but, um, this is a really good, good product. Again, there's, um, the nice thing about this, it's a 50 state compliant. Um, there's a lot of states that are getting on the EPA bandwagon and, you know, like with brake clean or non-chlorinated brake clean or chlorinated, um, the 45 BOC pro grade or the, the top, the better stuff is not allowed to ship in probably six states now because they lowered the VOC ratings down to, I believe, 15 in those states. So, um, so this is a 50 state compliant. Uh, there's no harsh goodies in this stuff at all. There's no acid solvents. Um, you know, it's just uh, all purpose, I guess. You could use it on anything. You can use it around the house, on the siding, you know, basically cleans up whatever, you know, parts. So, but um, won't hurt rubber, won't hurt your gaskets, any of that stuff. So it's kind of a pretty cool product, but. Um, other than that, those, those are the basics of uh, Maximus product that we're going to stock. They have a extensive, you know, wardrobe of products is a portfolio, if you want to say. So they have, you know, side by side, you know, RTV, UTV. That's kind of their, their you know, niche market, um, chain lube, stuff like that. So we're going to look at all that. They have marine oils we're, you know, talking about because, you know, over in Kansas, we're close to Lake of the Ozarks and Lake Perry, a bunch of lakes. So we get asked about that. So we're going to have some personal watercraft uh, engine oils and also, um, you know, the marine oils that are NMMA approved, which is big. That's a National Marine Manufacturing Association approval today on engines and oil. So, <coughs> so other than that. Um, so the bio wash, that's, that's an all-purpose cleaner. Spray on, wipe off. Yeah, yep. Scrub it. I mean, spray on, scrub, rinse type of thing. Or well, you, you know, all cleaners. I, you know, there's a question about scrub, and you know, if I'm just going like that, it's kind of wiping. But 
the good cleaners, it's a lot less effort, I guess. And I, I don't know of any, maybe, maybe there is, and someone could tell me over the years of cleaners. I mean, almost everyone and every variety I've used, you've had to either, you know, scrub it, you know, with a brush or whatever, but you know, the higher end products, you don't have to put a lot of effort in, you know, you still got a kind of soft bristle brush or a Microsoft, you know, towel or whatever. So, but, um, yeah, so we're pretty excited. You know, like I say, Maxima will complement our current product line. Um, they are in a lot of top tier stuff already as far as motorsports. Definitely drag racing. They are a huge name over in that arena. Um, truck and tractor pulling, maybe not up in the north, but in the south. And they have a few, you know, we went over some of them products that would be phenomenal for that. Um, the gear oils, they have automatic transmission fluids, stuff like that. But um, these are the ones we talked about tonight. We're going to bring in on our first order, which we should have that um, on site inventoried within the next two weeks. So, but we just want to get it introduced to the world and let everybody know that, uh, you know, it's end of the season, so to speak, but is there really an end of the season? I mean, we roll right into PRI and then boom, you know, right we're right back at it again. So, you know, you're lucky to get a break for Christmas. So, but um, we're probably going to do a PRI show special. Um, I'm going to be traveling in the morning out to Kansas. I'll be out there for a week at the uh, office warehouse. So we're going to go over a bunch of stuff, but you know, PRI and Indy, the, you know, performance racing industry show is coming up and it's really not that far away, honestly. Right. And um, we're prepping for that. And then, um, like you say, I think January, I think we're booked already. I think the second week in January, we start right back in, you know, 2024 season. So Indoor season starts. Florida yeah. Starts. Yep. So we're looking January. forward to that. Going, so. um, Is that when the we're... Chili Bowl starts too? What's that again? Is that when the Chili Bowl? Yeah, Chili Bowl, third, second, third week there. Um, we got all your net out. We've been invited to have a booth there. Um, so we just got to make sure we don't overbook our schedule, you know, it's easy to right. do. So, but, um, you know, we want to definitely compliment you guys with beer money pulling team, wherever that goes, just, uh, you know, do some networking on that side of the business too. So, but it, it's going really well. We appreciate the orders. Our, the business is starting to pick up We're you know, we're brand new business, um, with everything that has happened you know, with uh, my career and changes in the corporate world and all that. So, you know, Premier Lubricants really, um, you know, started, it, it, it started a little bit a couple of years ago as more coffee money for Brandon, but legit full-time lubricant company. I mean, we've only been at it since eh, technically May. June? Yeah. yeah, June, May. So, you know, and the Sunoco was introduced in May. So we're, we're very humbled to get that product line um, they handpicked. Maxima is going to be a great product line. I think, um, you know, in the Midwest, the growth that they want to do and with my background in the motorsports and what Brandon's got vision of, you know, uh, getting involved more truck and tractor pulling. And if we can um, get some of these marketing deals worked out, you know, it's going to be pretty, you know, pretty big. And also, you know, you can't give everybody free stuff in motorsports. But what my mindset is, you know what, we can come out and offer everybody a very high performance, high quality products at a discounted rate. And that helps a motorsports team as well. You know, anywhere you can save money in today's world, you know, racing or racing and performance, it's, it's very expensive on every level. So if we can do our part and, you know, offer up great products at a good price and, you know, support uh, the sports and people that support us is kind of our mindset. So, but uh it's going good. Yeah, we got some good stuff, you know, on, on tap for next year. So and use but, promo code BMPT for that 15% off discount. Yeah, and, and I just want to um, highlight again, um, the first order to Maximus going in, we will be uh, stocked pretty good with everything within hopefully the next, you know, two weeks. So, you know, within, I would say no later than a month. So we'll have all this stuff ready to go. So and, um, you know, other than that, um, we're going to be at Charlotte uh, for the dirt track, uh, short tracks, you know, dirt series is, uh, oh, I think it's the week, next week already, I guess, thinking about it. And then 
right after that's the uh, world finals of dirt. That's the world racing group, you know, the world of outlaw late models, 410 sprints in the big block mods from up north. We'll, we'll be at Charlotte for a couple weeks. And then right after that, we have a little break Thanksgiving's in there and uh, off to PRI. So um, if you go into PRI, love to talk with everybody in person. Uh, I personally will be at the Snoko lubricants booth across from the Ra Snoko race fuel booth. Most of my time, um, probably going to get a tug of war trying to get to our brands, um, which is fun, but it's a good time cramming, you know, as much in as you can in three days. So, and then I know, um, I don't know if you're, is your gig finalized? Doug, is, for over? We will be on the stadium floor. Okay. And what's that entail? Um, we are partnered with the Outlaw Truck and Tractor Pulling Association um, and Jeans Machine, GMS. Okay. We'll have our new tractor there. We're booth number 8141. Okay. On the stadium floor. Um, and we will uh, be promoting the Outlaw Association and the products at GMS. They've been a partner with us for a couple of years now. Nice. And they have a new light super stock they're going to debut there. That's got a lot of cool new stuff on it. And then uh, we'll have the high tech redneck there. So. Yeah. Awesome. So um, just before we wrap up, we, you know, cold weather's coming and fuel is a big to do in today's world, whether it be gasoline or diesel fuel, there's, you know, there's every quality of fuel out there, it seems like today. But um, we also stock house uh, products, the diesel additives. So one of the most common one is um, house diesel treat. So we have that available at Premier Lubricants too. So in any of the conditioners, um, any of that stuff, but any of the house products, you go to their link, you know, we can get that. We stock the most common stuff. Um, we also, you know, a few products with champion. We have the diesel conditioner and um, stuff like that, but um, starting fluid too. I know we talked about that in the truck and tractor pulling world, but um, you know, up where you guys are, not necessarily where I am, don't need that stuff so much, but uh, we are stocked with 80% starting fluid, a little bit of 50, we don't, you know, 80 people just go right to the good stuff, you know, so, but we have starting fluid in stock as well for, uh, you know, your day shift core business, or if you're out pulling and need some that that's great too. So, and uh, the website, um, you know, you can order any quantity just because you go to the website, you can get a hold of myself or, you know, the beer money pulling team, get a hold of me or Brandon Leach. Um, my partner, the president over at uh, Premier, we, you know, we sell skid, you know, full skids, half skids, half truckloads, just because it's not on the website, there's, you know, onesie, twosie in the cart. I mean, we, we sell any quantity, you know, um, that you would need. So, but uh, site too, we're, you know, working on that. That's, that's under construction all the time. Going to keep improving that so it's user friendly, but <coughs> Excuse me, but yeah, um, the questions have been pretty quiet tonight. But you know, that happens when you're just getting started. So. Yeah, yeah. So, but you know, again, going back to Maxima, we're we're pretty pleased to bring that product line on. It's uh, like I say, the nice part is, is you know, they've been around for 43 plus years. Um, Danny Massey's, you know, he's the owner over there, and they're you know they're 100 percent focused on racing. You know, they're their, their business is racing and motorsports, so to speak. So um, that focus is nice, you know, and they, uh, you know, want to build the Midwest. So it's, it's a good opportunity for us, you know, not only uh, where we're located, but um, just when we did a presentation package with, you know, what we're doing marketing with you guys over at Beer Money Pulling Team is very enticing. You know, we did some outlaw. We'd like to do more with that. So we're, you know, we're going to work on some stuff you know, in, in the, in the back off offline on some of those programs, but yeah, it's going to be good. Well, everybody, thanks for watching. And uh, I don't know if we'll hit next week or not. I got to check my schedule. We're uh, we traveling for a couple of weeks. So yeah. So, let me know, Doug, I'm going to be out in Kansas. So, you know, if yeah. anything we can get, we could do something quick or we could do like a, a product highlight. Right. Know if there's, you know, pick something on there, but uh, 
you know what, in closing, we thank you and appreciate everything. And, you know, we're one stop shop for lubricants, you know, windshield wash, engine oil, transmission, gear yeah, oil. Thanks. I mean, we, we got a, anything you could use, uh, you know, for a race team, motorsports team to, you know, farm fleet, on road, off road, industrial. I mean, we, we're, we got it all in a one stop shop at Premier Lubricants. Cool. All right. Again, 15% off using uh, the beer money code uh, BMPT for your discounts at the Premier Lubricants site or beermoneypullingteam.com. Go we're Bills, here. right? Yeah. We won't even talk about our Badgers. So. Yeah, it's a sore subject. But. <laughs> All right. Have a great night. We'll All see right. you again. Thank, Thank you. you. Take care. Yep. Bye-bye.